Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Hypnol Dreadnought's Taskmaster Tuesday. In Taskmaster Tuesday videos, it is my pleasure and honor to take on a serious strategy gamer, Spartan Elite and Brother Monroe to see who can score the most points. We're currently working in a seasonal format and this is week three. In week one, none of us scored any points, but week two actually gave Spartan four points and Brother four points. Serious strategy gamer is sitting in the lead in five points and I have a mere three, so I have some catching up to do. Now, the challenge for this week is to use five battleships versus three battleships and two, uh, sorry, five torpedo boats of theirs. So three battleships and five torpedo boats need to be sunk. There are, of course, a couple of hoops that we have to jump through to gain some points. One, none of your ships suffers a flash fire. That's going to give you one point. Sink all the enemy battleships for one point. Use the smallest hull for your chosen nation for one point. And chosen nation means we can freely choose our nation as long as it's not the British Empire. Have one of your ships get hit by a torpedo but survive to the end of the battle for one point. And lose none of your ships for one point. So once again there's a total of five points to be had. And there are, well, quite a few challenges ahead. Um, let's see, which is a nation that I don't generally use... I think all of them actually. Although the Chinese, the Chinese and the Spanish, they're usually underrepresented. So let's go with the Spanish hull and design a ship that's going to be capable of doing all five points. Um, use the smallest hull for your chosen nation. The smallest hull means, in this case, uh, there was some discussion about this. Let me pull it up. Ah, yes, here it is. Um, the shortest hull, it means it's the smallest size. Although you can increase the displacement to just below where the ship size, ship size changes. So, considering that, let's see what the ship length is here. We've got 411 feet. 487 feet on the Battleship 3. Interesting that they get two Battleship 3 designs. And the Battleship 1 is a 422 foot ship. So that would actually make this battleship the smallest let's see what happens if i reduce displacement 411 feet and over here we're looking at oh 370 feet okay that's the smallest one now let's see when the ship size changes because when that happens i know i've gone there I've gone a bit too high there. Okay, I really want that one point. Every point at this point is going to be very valuable. Um, I'm fighting several torpedo boats. I need to be able to take a torpedo. So let's put on all the <laughs> all the one torpedo protection I can get. Uh, throw on the most bulkheads. And I suppose 16 knots is not bad. It's definitely not fast, but it does allow me to put on a lot of armor, which is what I'm going to need. If I want to not blow up. Citadel, uh, reinforced bulkheads. Let's go with Krupp 1 armor. We're going to be throwing coal in the boilers. And these are going to be induced draft. And, well, we get a multiple expansion steam engine. Not really sure that I need something like that. But, well, every bit of horsepower that we can get for a reduced amount of displacement is valuable. When it comes to engine efficiency, it's probably going to be very much <laughs> unnecessary. Um, here, 100% engine efficiency. And that's with a 200 ton funnel. With a 175, I also get a 100% engine efficiency. So this is perfectly good enough. Gives me about 3,500 tons to put on some main guns. It has to be big enough to take down a battleship. And we got Mark IIs all over the board. Except for the 9-inch guns, which are Mark Threes. Considering my low speed, I don't think I'm going to have to really rely on uh, getting close, because I can't. So let's go with the biggest guns. Which... Ah, there they go. They do fit on the hull. They just need a bit of persuasion. Unfortunately, that does lead to a somewhat stern weight offset. 2.9 I can accept. This looks cute, but slightly out of character. Like, these guns are too big for the ship. But hey, it can house it, so who am I to argue? 
When it comes to secondary guns, guns that will deal with torpedo boats, um, accuracy is pretty terrible all across, with the 2-inch guns actually being remarkably more accurate than the 3-inch, 4-inch, 5-inch, and 6-inch guns. Everything sits around 16, 15, 14, and then this one at 34. But, no, actually, you know what? A 2-inch gun might just be sufficient. Especially considering that torpedo boats in this day and age, they are shit. They have torpedoes, which are usually a range of 600 meters. So I don't really expect them to be able to hit me at any great range. So, yeah. As many 2-inch guns as this ship can have. Some parts are badly placed. That would probably be these. And these. If the game gives me the slot, then why can I not use it? There, now I can use it. I think the bridge was too far forward, the front tower. Still a bit of a, an aft weight offset. Unfortunately, this tower, or sorry, this gun is as far forward as I can have it. Did they come up with the idea of barbettes yet? No. They don't know what those are. Uh, if I shift this slightly farther, I should be shifting forward. Hmm. It's not great. Secondary guns. Um, yeah, I have no idea where to put those. I can put them there? Right, so the moment that I put these things in, the game says, oh, they have a poor field of fire. That's curious. Oh. <laughs> All the guns have a poor field of fire. <laughs> All right. If that's how it's going to be, fine. Um, let's try and reduce the flash fire chance. 15% flash fire explosion chance. 10. None. But black powder is obsolete. So everything else that they started using afterwards did more damage or got more gun range at the expense of having your ship blown up. Well, <laughs> at least substantially increasing the chance of having your ship blown up. Let's go with heavy shells. And then just start tacking on enough armor to make this thing unsinkable. Uh, how does 29 inches of belt armor sound? Might be a bit much, yeah? These guns can pen... 20 inches, 20 inches, 28 inches of armor at a thousand meter range. 28? Okay. Let's try not to get to a thousand meters of a battleship. Let's say I want to be fighting at about 5,000 meters, which is where they can pen 21 inches. So let's ensure that the main belt has substantially more than that. 15 inches plus 74%. And then the deck is not important. Because the shells won't plunge anyway. Conning tower. Uh, boost the turrets. I'm shifting it slightly farther back. Because I don't think it could properly turn. Turrets to 12 inch. And secondaries. I believe that does mean casemates as well. Because my uh, displacement is going up. 12 and a half inch. Turret top. Not important. Same reason. Not expecting plunging fire. Belt extended. Ten and a half. This is more than what I put on some of the battleships from 1940. Right. Uh, this is the San Francisco. Let's see if she's capable of jumping through all the hoops that I need her to jump through. Which is, again, none of your ships can suffer a flash fire. Uh, that's going to be fun with ballastites. Or sorry, sorry, no, it's ballastites, not lidite. Um, sink all enemy battleships. I think that's perfectly doable. Use the smallest hull for your chosen nation. Check. Have one of your ships get hit by a torpedo but survive to the end of the battle. One point. And don't lose any of your ships. So, let's see what the AI has in store today. We are starting at a 10,000 meter range. The enemy spotted to the north. Uh, we got a 3, 1, and 1. Oh, these guys are screening for the... Right. That's a really interesting idea, but I'm not going to go along with it. 
because screening forces, in my experience, don't work very well. There we go. Contact with the enemy. What do they have? They've got four 13-inch guns. And a couple of side-mounted 9-inch guns. Two duels per side and one single 9-inch. That's potentially quite dangerous. Surprisingly, they haven't spotted me. Let's turn this formation to port. I'm going to have the Santo Domingo push in because I'm actually looking to get hit by a torpedo. As weird as that is. I need to get shot at in order to complete one of the objectives. Especially getting shot at um, <laughs> with a torpedo. Which is something that's usually not really something that you're trying to get happen. But in this case, yes please. Uh, one of their battleships is already starting to flood. Bow belt extended? What, you mean I pent this thing right through the bows? That is very impressive. Yeah, here. Am I overmatching their armor by any chance? Because I think that that's the only explanation I have right now. Castilla, turn that way. Santo Domingo. San Francisco is... Over there. Where are your torpedo boats at? Another one crashing through the mid-belt. I wonder if my belt is so strong that they can't hurt me. Let's see if that's true. Try to give me an identification on this ship before it goes down. 70. Ah, torpedo boats are popping out. Santo Domingo, I have a weird objective. I need you to get hit by a torpedo. Uh, turn the secondaries off. Maintain fire on the battleship. They have to go anyway. But I'm actually hunting for a torpedo. Uh, hold. The entire formation is not allowed to use secondaries until I complete that objective. So all of those two-inch guns are not allowed to fire. Battleship identified. This is the Duke of York. She has maximum bulkheads, a speed of 19 knots, 8.5 inches of armor belt. And um, I can pen her for 53% chance. They can pen me for 2% chance. There are really, really few sectors that I can actually, do, well, do any kind of damage to me. All the battleships, folks, the Duke of York. This is the big advantage of having a ton of armor. Fire on the Duke of York. Come on. Range 1-5. Okay. If you're not going to come to me, I'll come to you. With both the Santo Domingo and the Oriente at some point. But give me a moment. I'm only doing 16 knots. It might be safer trying to pull this torpedo run after their ships are eliminated. Because otherwise I risk getting hit as I'm already taking flooding from one of their uh, torpedoes. So let's have the Santo Domingo do a bit of a, a bit of a dodge. Oops, I think I accidentally hit the torpedo boat. Yeah, that one is done. Duke York has lost its... Ah, lost its fire control. That's a pretty rare event. But when it happens, it starts to impact your accuracy a lot. Minus 15%, theirs is 8. This one is still building a ladder, so it's difficult to see. That's a Prince George, and we also got King Edward VII. We're currently at a range of 2.9 kilometers, and accuracy is already pretty bad. Gypsy, Flying Fish, Teaser, and Panther are still around. There, the rudder is damaged. Ship is starting to flood on the stern. Look at those holes. Damage control parties must be working hard to keep that ship afloat. How are my ships doing? I think the Santo Domingo is drawing all the fire and the rest of them are just completely unharmed. 
Duke of York, another flooding hit. Fifty-eight percent structural integrity. Is she starting to fall back yet? Well, she might try, but I think the rest of the fleet is just flat out faster, and uh, she's probably not even going to try to turn around because it is risky for her. Accuracy, or sorry, pen chance fifty-three, pen chance one and a half percent. That's more like it. Rudder damaged and flooding. These thirteen-inch guns really hit the Duke of York hard. Rudder's out, engine's out, and that means damage control is even worse. So her flooding might kill her. There we go. More flooding. The whole... The whole bottom of the ship seems to be flooding now. All compartments are ripped open. And that's the end of the Duke of York. Next target, the Prince George. I'm still refusing to use my secondaries. Even though I have uh, very much an interest in taking those two-inch guns to task against these torpedo boats. Let's see. I want to get hit by these torps. They are 18-inch. They have a speed of 29 knots. It's really slow, but remember, this is the 1900s we're talking about. This is not particularly late tech. Oh, you took some damage. You cannot do 15 no or 16 knots anymore. That's fair. Chance to pen. 53 and dropping. Chance to pen. 53 holding-ish. Alright. Maintain course. Maintain pressure. Keep hitting them. Based on the behavior of the torpedo boats, I'd say they're on a screening duty. Because they're not coming after me, and they're staying more or less in position relative to the battleships here. The battleships, which are seemingly... Well, I won't use the word speeding, but they are moving away from me. Let's throw some high explosive 13 inch at it. I just need to do some damage here. And if I can, of course, whack their damage control parties out of existence, that would help. <laughs> Everything's missing so far. A 3.2 kilometer range. They are in secondary range. Activate the secondaries, but only if you're going to start hitting the battleship. Fire aboard the Prince George. Slowly breaching their armor. Two-inch guns are now also going off. Of course, the casemates have a very limited field of fire. But the other guns in the bow are more than capable of pitching in. It's just that a two-inch gun at more than two and a half kilometer range has a terrible pen. So my chance of doing damage is pretty shit. 53. Come on. Switch back to standard. I hope the angle's a little better. Santo Domingo took another chunk of damage, but again, they really don't have that much that can hurt me. This is a slightly better pen chance, probably. Yeah, it's, it's only 47, though. 44. Come on, boys. The first one went down really quickly. And then you just started missing your shells. Two and a half kilometers out. 53. 5% chance. Spanish tanks are coming in for the kill. Chance to pen, 53 holding. Switch to the uh, Edward. Missed. 22% chance, come on. I am expecting some results here. Come on. 25. 26. They reload in, <laughs> in almost 70 seconds here. <laughs> 
<laughs> and they still miss. Oh, hold on. The uh, Castilia has detected torpedoes. Which will... No, those are shells. Hold on. Um, yes, torpedoes. I needed those. Okay, now you can take this thing to task. I just hope that the Castilia is going to survive. She just launched another set. Ooh. We're going to put those bulkheads to the test right now. Oh, fuck. Uh, not that much. All back emergency. Because I can probably take one hit or two, but not four. Yeah, the Castilia is done. That means I will not be able to get that last objective. It also means you guys are free to fire. Castilla. Ah, shit. And I was already behind on points. So the uh, have one of your ships get hit by a torpedo and survive until the end of the battle is lost. Lose none of your ships is thereby also lost. That really sucks. So I can get a maximum of three points. Forward. Oh. I popped the king out, but right open with a flash fire. Now it's just the Prince George, which is also starting to flood. So, uh, none of your ships suffer a flash fire. So far, I'm living up to that one. Sink all the enemy battleships. Work in progress. And use the smallest hull for your chosen nation. One point. But I got a little excited just watching the battle and didn't actually pay enough attention to not trying to get hit too many times with a torpedo. Once was fine. Four times was overdoing it. This pen chance is probably terrible. Yeah, my explosive. Oh, you're just slugging a torpedo boat. That's... That's slightly excessive for using a 13-inch gun. Now, the torpedo boats don't need to be sunk. But at this point, they're posing too much of a risk. So at this point, they can just go. 13-inch shell. You can hit a 13-inch shell on a torpedo boat from there, but you cannot hit a battleship. Teach me the ways of your gunners. Or rather, well, don't, actually. Because that's pretty shit. Armor Pierce. Come on. Ah, there we go. Flooding. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. More. So she popped her th four turrets. Do you have anything left? Five. Good grief. Oh. Pfft. Hold on. Let's see if I can make a thumbnail out of that. <laughs> she went up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six flash fire so far. We might not even be done yet. Because she still has a turret left. I think that's her last. No, she still has another 9 inch. Jesus. Well, that ought to kill him. Um, that does also conclude my Taskmaster challenge. Sink all the enemy battleships. One point gained. Use the smallest hull. Gained. And um, none of your ships suffer a flash fire. Gained. Unfortunately, two points were not had. Have one of your ships get hit by a torp and survive. No joy. And lose none of your ships. No joy. Shit. Anyway, such is life. And I hope that I can make up for it next week. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the other contestants linked down below in the description. And, well, we'll see who can get another bunch of points next week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for another video.